Alrighty folks, how is it going? Sorry it's been a while since I've done some videos and well posted some new stuff up anyway. I've had like the worst start to the year like ever. Um, so yeah, this is the second attempt at doing this video. Uh, I did do it a couple of days ago. The, the purpose of this video is to talk about a brake upgrade. Uh, but I also went out just to burn off my old rear tyre. Um, so now I've got a, a new Conti Attack SM on the back. Move back to that one again. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of scrubbing it in a little bit, just have a dick about. It just looks like a okay little wheelie spot. It's just been resurfaced. Oh, what was that? Oh, what was that? Hmm, it was better. Jesus. This road's like all gravel and shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> Gravel and grass in the middle and muckle potholes on the side. <laughs> anyway, back to the purpose of this video. Uh, so yeah, brake upgrade. Uh, so the last couple of years I've just been running the stock brakes, stock fluid. Um, and yeah, it's been okay, but on track days it's the front brake kind of goes squishy and it just lacks any kind of feel. Um, which is okay for the first few laps, but when you're on a small track going flat out and hairpin, flat out hairpin and so on uh, yeah, after a few laps the, the master goes a bit squishy which is not ideal uh, so, first up uh, brake pads so the ones I've gone for are the Brembo Sintered SC uh, I'll fire the the part number and and a link in the uh, in the flimity flam down below down there. Um, and the fluid I replaced the old fluid with is the Motul RBF RBF yeah uh, 600. But you can get an RBF 660, which is slightly higher boiling point, wet and dry. But I don't know what that means. But I, I don't know what kind of stuff to put in from factory, probably some El Cheapo nasty crap. Um, where am I going? Uh, if, if, me. I shall go this way. Oh. Uh, so yeah, change the brake fluid. When I opened up the thing, the, the reservoir, the old stuff was like really dark. And on the bottom there was like this layer of minging white orange crust. Now that the uh, fluid's been leaking uh, for however long. Whee! Oh yeah, it's leaking again now. So yeah, that was leaking, it was probably letting water in as well, which isn't great. Um, so I had to drain out the old stuff, rinse it out with new stuff and kind of poke it and break it up a bit. Uh, and then draw it out and just leave fresh stuff in um, and then yeah just uh, do as you would with the the caliper uh, squeeze the pistons back in just use the big kind of pipe wrench thing in a cloth uh, so I didn't mark it um, so that pushed up the old fluid so I was careful not to let any air in you can bleed the 701 with ABS uh, the normal traditional way uh, you don't need to get a dealer to do it but if you get any air into the system then that might get trapped in the ABS motor uh, and you then may need to take it to the dealer to get them to cycle the ABS system to push any air out and then probably bleed it again as well um, so yeah I was very careful not to let any air in uh, bled it right through run about three uh, three reservoirs of uh, fluid right through it until it was running properly clear and knee bubbles 
Um, so yeah, that was all good. Um, yeah, uh, no, the feel of the brakes is, is great. Uh, couldn't, can't complain. Um, it's okay for riding the street and out in the country roads and whatnot. Uh, you've got a, a, a reasonable amount of feel. Uh, with them being sintered, they, they need warmed up, but even when they're cold, they're fine. So on a track day, you do a few hot laps, it gets squishy, and then it's time to call it, uh, pull in and let it cool down a bit. Um, but I've done a, like, well, I've done the normal track day. You know, this track I've ridden on this, ta on this like, five days, uh, I have done lots more on that track on other bikes. Um, and after, uh, even after 10 laps, it was it was still as good as like the second and third lap. So uh, yeah, there's, there's almost like no fade. It doesn't go squishy. So it, yeah, it's spot on. I thoroughly recommend that fluid and those pads. Um, now then, the actual maintenance of the brakes and the fluid and whatnot. Um, in the service manual or the owner's manual, it says to replace the fluid every two years or. Yeah, every two years. Uh, so that's front, back, and the clutch fluid. I haven't done the clutch fluid yet. Because I'll probably math it up and destroy my clutch. Um, but yeah, when I took that out, it was minging brown, crusty. It was fucking horrible. Uh, the same for the back brake. Uh, it was it was dark. There was a little bit of crust. It wasn't as bad as the what the front one was. Uh, but yeah, if, you, if you're doing, what, five... Well, I've, I've done 8,000 miles now in the two years that I've had it. But still, even doing it every year for the cost of brake fluid, which is, I don't know, tenner, maybe more. Um, yeah, it, it's worth doing it every year. Uh, so you've got fresh stuff in, and plus you can look out for any problems as well. Um, bam, 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 bam. Yeah, I think that's it. Brake maintenance, good. No maintenance, bad. Hmm, where am I going? Turtle Bridge. Let's go to Turtle Bridge. I have no idea where I'm going. Whoops. Looks like a good bridge to wheelie across. Oh, come on. What's with the wheelies today? Whee! There we go. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, this road hurts my face. This looks like a prime picture location. Uh, anywho, uh, this video will apply to... Um, no, that's someone's driveway. Uh, yeah, this video applies to 701, obviously. Um, maintenance side, it will apply to the Enduro as well as the Sumo. Um, and the, uh, the older 690s, because they use the same uh, stuff. Uh, and the new 690 as well, because it's it's a 701 in orange plastics. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, hit like. Uh, subscribe for more hints, tips, tricks, whatever, on the 701 maintenance and shit wheelies and whatever else I do, or don't do. And until next time, cheer for watching. They're, they're big fucking sheeps, Jesus. Thank <laughs> you.